we had, we were in Andrews, North Carolina while they were searching mm -hmm. for Eric Rudolph. One of the FBI agents there had a birthday while he was working that search for Eric Rudolph. His father flew down from Ohio to Andrews mm -hmm. and didn't make it. We had to overlay a search on top of their search oh, for gosh. Eric Rudolph. So we worked out of the Southeast Bomb Task Force Command Center, along with every law enforcement entity you can imagine on the East Coast was there. I've never seen so many different badges and things in my life. <laughs> and every time one of our teams would go out on the ground, they had to be accompanied by an FBI team. So that was one of the more interesting. It was unfortunately, part of the reason it was memorable is because we actually worked with this FBI mm -hmm. agent whose father was missing, which we mm -hmm. rarely do. But he was very professional. The hard part was telling him we had to stop the search because we could not find his father. We had exhausted all our resources and had absolutely nothing to go on. And that was so, after about two weeks? That was it? after two full weeks of searching. And we had to stop because we had just run through all of our, of course, we're all volunteers. Right. And, the Air Force at some point will call a halt to when you expend a certain amount of resources. They look at everything you've done, say, have you got anything, any leads to go on? And if there's nothing, they say, okay, that's it. We're going right. to stop. It mm -hmm. was eventually found by yeah. some hikers some hunters, or hunters. hunters. Or... <clears throat> that was very memorable because of where we were and the circumstances. But it was right. a couple of years after, I wasn't think, it? We all know. I think it was, was just it? about a year, the a next year, year okay. during hunting season. Mm -hmm. And there have been a lot of even humorous ones. We went one time to do, well, essentially what they call a ramp check. When we have a missing mm -hmm. aircraft, we go, and it's typically at night when we start looking, mm -hmm. to go to all the airports in the area that he may have landed at and not told anybody. Mm -hmm. And check the ramp out there and look for that aircraft. Right. When we do that, we always have law enforcement meet us mm -hmm. for our protection and so forth on an, a closed airport. And we went one night and met uh, three deputy sheriffs from Burke mm -hmm. County. Mm -hmm. I don't think the oldest one was over 18. I mean, they were, these guys hopped out of the car and we spoke to them and one of them talked. And the other two never mm -hmm. said anything. And I told June later, it was like Larry, Daryl, and Daryl from the Newhart show. It's like, no matter <laughs> which one you asked a question, the one would talk and the other two just stood there and smiled. <laughs> and uh, it was hilarious. Uh -huh. so,